All right, um, I just wanted to give a quick video on uh, one way that you can put IPA characters in your, your documents, whatever you're writing on your computer. Um, so I'm going to switch to the screen and I'll show you this really quickly. Okay, so here's the URL of a website and I'm making it as big as possible here. I'll also put it in the, the video uh, notes. Um, uh, it's a Typeit uh, website which has uh, that actually has a lot of different languages, but the IPA is what I'm after here. Uh, let me see if I can make this bigger. There we go. As soon as I make it bigger, you can see there's a whole lot of characters here. And all I have to do, uh, I'm going to do the word think in English. And the word think starts with a th sound, so I'm going to find it. Uh, it's organized by what letter it's similar to. So all the ands are together, t's are together, the theta is in with the t's, d's. Anyway, all alphabetical and then a whole bunch of other stuff. Think. <clears throat> I have the i vowel next, so I click on that. And then the ing, that velar nasal there. And then the k isn't actually on this chart, but it's on my keyboard. So I just press the k on my keyboard and there it goes. Um, now, I have this here. I just highlight it and I do control C and I copy it and then I can go back to my document here and I'll put some brackets. There we go. I have think and that's really all there is to it. I just have to hit paste. Uh, I use control V and control C but you can also you know edit paste is another way to get the same thing in. Um, so I hope that's helpful. Uh, this is meant to really help you get into uh, the second assignment, which is due tomorrow. That's all. Thanks for watching.